Only First National Bank can judge me. And that's because they've seen how many overdrafts I've had this year. Real Housewives Atlanta Season 8, Episode 10 was boring. I don't know. I've been hit back to back with boring episodes on two of my favorite shows. Bring It This Past Friday was boring as hell. I did not review it, and I'm not going to review it. We'll try it again this Friday. This Real Housewives Atlanta episode was sort of one line, too. Um, you know, Mama Judy, let's go get into it, honey. I want to thank everybody for purchasing shirt. um, shirts. Shirts are still getting out there. Some people are still receiving shirts late. So um, if you have not received your shirt, you know, give it a little time. But, you know, email me, and, you know, we can find out what's going on. I want to thank everybody. I have my black Moving On Swift and Professional shirt. With silver foil, it was one of my favorites. I'm moving swift and professional. It's actually one of my favorites, uh, and I love the I love the style. Everybody loves it. So let's go and get into it. Um, so Mama Joyce goes to talk to Candy, and Candy is just telling Mama Joyce about her and Phaedra's relationship. It's not on um, the best. It's kind of shaky. Like Cynthia's credit right now, they're talking to uh, what's the name of these these businesses that are just cannot get off the ground, and you know it, it just it is what it is. So. Mama Joyce, you know, telling her, said, well, I'm going to go talk to her. I'm going to go talk to Faye because y'all are best of friends. Candy's just like, I really don't give a damn right now. I got to pop this baby. I just have more important shit going on than that. And I really don't blame Candy at this point. Kenya's headed on a family reunion trip to Detroit. And she has her good, 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 good Judy. Whatever her name is. Brandon with her. And, you know, they go, you know, they just come fuck up some shit. I don't know how I felt about this whole Kenya Moore thing with her family. I'm going to get into that in just a second. I just got to warm up a little bit. But, you know, Kenya seems to be trying to do the best she can. She seems to be trying. But it just it doesn't come off natural to, and authentic to me. Um, Cynthia, you know, her and Peter are working. You know, Peter told her, look, I got your credit card. I got you approved for a credit card of $10,000. So I'm going to max it out for it. But we're going to go on a trip. We're going to have a good time. I'm just kidding. So... <laughs> Cynthia, you know, she's telling, she's talking to her daughter, Noelle, who is very, very beautiful. Noelle is very beautiful. And she's just giving um, Cynthia some, um, I love their relationship. It was cute to see them, you know, work on their relationship. Or, you know, it was, not work on their relationship. You know, her have a conversation with her daughter about her marriage. I thought that was beautiful. Things like that happen. Never be ashamed to talk to your children about things because those are real, real life situations. Those are things that really happen. So, Cynthia, I commend you for doing that. And your, your relationship with your daughter is beautiful. I, I, some, I love Cynthia, but at the same time, I'd be wanting the best for her. I just, I don't, even though she has me blocked on Twitter. But it's okay. I'm not here to take pictures with celebrities. I'm not here to be hugged up with them. I am not here to be best friends with them. I'm just not. I am here to speak the truth to the Jays according to me. That's all I'm ever here for. Um, you know, a lot of people do you know Tim Justin that you can't say this. I'm gonna say what I want to say and I'm not going to change. I'm just not. I'm gonna to continue to rank, remain authentic the best I can while growing. I just don't plan on changing like that. I don't want to be friends with these celebrities. I just don't. Because the ones who be kissing and hugging and touching and rubbing with these folk. Still, don't be no damn way, no way. So, if anything, I want them to come to me genuinely and be like, "Just, I know you full of shit, you mess his hair, but I fucks with you. But we ain't gonna do it in the public, girl. That's fine with me. We can, we can laugh and it, we, it can go down in the DMs. It can go down in the messages like it's already doing now. And ain't nobody got it. Ain't nobody, ain't no business, baby, but mine and my baby. I'm being so extra today. Because I know y'all bored at work. Okay, I'm bored too, child. I'm going to have to go find some... I'm going to have to go work at a chicken place or some shit. I got an interview at KFC tomorrow morning. Y'all wish me luck. No, I'm just playing. Um, Portia and her sister situation, I just don't understand it. Portia seems to be a little pressed that her sister is pregnant and all that type of stuff. And she can't do the things that she used to do. And she's just not taking it serious. Portia, if I find out that your ass is not paying your sister, I'm going to smack your ass. Not on your booty, because I don't want to smack your booty, but I'm going to smack the hell out of you. Portia, pay your damn sister. Pay her. Okay? And the sister, she was pressed. She was like, well, I, I don't be flying. I be flying in, um, I fly in coach or some shit. She said, I'm just like, see, this is the reason why I would not hire any friends or family to do any work for me, because... People just, some folks just don't know how to separate business from relationships. They just don't know how to do it. And it's hard because 
Yes, if that's her sister, she should be flying like, yes, bitch, you supposed to be rich because I'm rich. But in all, it doesn't work like that. You know, you're my assistant. You ride coach. Why do I want you to fly in what's the name? It makes no sense. Why do I pay you $20 now when I can find somebody else to pay $10 now? It's fucked up, but it's just, it's what it's supposed to be. Okay? It's just, it just, it is what it is. Like, it's, it's really messed up. So I'd rather just, you know, I said, girl, I pay your phone bill or some shit. Um, but I ain't, ain't, I don't know about hiring your ass. I pay one of your bills, but I just can't be, I can't do that shit. I just can't do this. I can't. So Mama Joyce shows up at Phaedra's office. I want to talk to, um, I want to talk to Phaedra. And Phaedra's like, who, who at the door? Baby, it's Mama Joyce, honey, in their high top, hip hop, honey ass wig. So she walks in, she talks to him, Phaedra, like she doing work. Phaedra, your ass ain't doing no damn work. Sit your ass down. Phaedra, look at them empty ass papers and shit. Ain't shit going on in that damn office. So she talking, and Mama Joyce just like, you know, what's going on? All that type of stuff. Y'all the best of friends and da da da. And Phaedra just, you know, Phaedra's just talking about the stuff she's been through. Phaedra, I feel like you the people de GoFundMe's a little bit. Like you, I think you're making it a little bit bigger than what it is. I just did a blog post on GoFundMe's. Um, check it out on justinj 1232com honey. I have been put. I don't need to be put. I realized that I can just put out. Think pieces and, and conversation pieces, and we can have a good time versus then talk about celebrities all day. Cause I'm just not, I'm not interested in that. I'm so thankful I can do that. Cause I don't want to always talk about celebrities. I want to talk about important shit. Important shit. So, honey, I'm be popping them in, pop it, pipe it up, pipe it up, pipe it up. So, Faith from Mama Joyce, you know they just talking, and I, I just hope. I really think Candy and Phaedra's relationship, I feel like it's close. They actually took a picture together. And Candy just had her baby. She took a picture with everybody. I'm just like, I really think that they be like, girl, I'm going to go in on your ass this season. So don't pay me no damn mind. And we're going to do what it do. And I really feel like because even when Portia was talking to her sister, it just didn't seem that realistic to me. It just didn't seem realistic. It just didn't. So, Phaedra gets the good word. She's like, yeah, let me go pay Todd this damn money. I know they got to go buy cribs and shit and all this type of shit. So, let me go and get them their damn money. She goes, she, baby, she showed up at Todd's little thing. And, baby, that shit was in the, tra I thought she was in the trap house. Damn, Todd had got a damn duplex and turned that whole into an office. Baby, that shit was so damn funny to me. Baby, that, that damn office looked like a trap house. I thought Johnny Boy was doing um uh, doing um uh, setting up meth lab right in China like a trap house. Then she was funny to me. We in that little ass office. Todd in there talking and stuff. And he's showing her the shit. And it's just like they in the goddamn break room. Child, that shit was not. <laughs> it just did look bit terrible. Oh God! This DVD that's supposed to be mass produced. They in this little bit of ass room on this little ass TV. It's just Oh my gosh. I don't know what to say. So, you know, Faith just like, girl, why the fuck it look like this shit? Why am I polka dots and da da da? And she said, you know what, Ty, everything's good. You know, I know you need these checks, and that shit will fun as hell. That shit will fun as hell. That shit will fun as hell, because candy, candy ass probably got Todd paying the mortgage. <laughs> Ain't no goddamn. Candy probably own that damn house, though, knowing her rich ass. Um, so she said, I'm going to give you, um, I'm going to see how much money I got in my account tomorrow. I'm going to pay you um, tomorrow. So I'm just like, thank you, Phaedra. Do what you're supposed to do. Owe him, pay him the damn money. He didn't do what he's supposed to. Get him the money. What you do with your product, he's not in control of. He's done the work. Pay him. Pay me my money, my money. Run me my money, Phaedra. Stop playing that bullshit, honey. So we get to Kenya's fucking get together because, baby, that shit was not a damn family reunion. I don't know how in the hell Kenya tried to pull a wool over our eyes with that shit, but that shit was not no family reunion. Like she had told folk, I'm having, I'm refilming, we're gonna do a family reunion. Child, she got the shirts. It don't even say family reunion. I don't even know what the fuck it said. It just said Kenya's in big ass, bright ass, um, white on a pink and white shirt. I was just like, child, her shirts look good though. I said they were cute. The lettering was fucked up, but it just, it just didn't look, it just didn't look real. Girl, there wasn't no get together. I mean, that, that wasn't even a get-together. Because when I think of family, you know, I think about the park. I think about the old folks over here paying spades. Folks over here eating smoked sausage. I want smoked sausage with cheese with extra slaw. 
What's the name of that barbecue in the ribs? Uncle John over there trying to get back with Aunt Bessie. Girl, that's the type of shit. That whack ass. Y'all could have had that shit at the Olive Garden had in the soup and salad, bitch, for six seventy nine dollars or how much ever it is. Because them hoes went up so much. Hey, Olive Garden, how you doing, bitch? Shout out to the original OG, okay? Yes, get into it. I don't live there no more, okay? I have moved on. I miss my people at Olive Garden. Now, those were the days. Shout out. Like this video right now. Comment right now if you remember Justin J. Beck from the OG days. Baby, that means you rock with me. You know what? The first out of five, the first, I'm going to take, I'm going to pick somebody who remembers. I want you to give me, tell me how you remember me from my um, original OG days. If you, if you know what the OG stand for. I want you to tell me what video that I did around the OG days. Comment in this video and let me know. I'm going to get your information and I'm going to give you a shirt. I want to take it real back because that means you've been rocking with me for a long ass time. I want you to tell me the video that I've done around the time. One of the like one of the videos I've done around the time that I was working at the OG. I want you to tell me that child. And if you get it right, you got a chance to win the shirt, honey. Yes, come on, gang. Yes. So make sure you do it and make sure you um you stay you, you check the comments and stuff because I'm gonna make sure that I um get your information so we can get you a shirt, honey. Um, like I said, the, the family unions were just whack to me. I just didn't like it. And Kenya had me screaming, honey, when she said that damn auntie looked like a sexy raccoon. Girl, <laughs> that she wasn't disrespect disrespecting these hoes, disrespecting these aunts, man. Baby. She called her ass a sexy raccoon. I was just like, Kenya, you ain't shit. You ain't shit. But baby, the episode was, it was all right. We got Miss, Miss Neanderthal Leaks pop her ass up. I'm bad, bitches. And I'm just like, I love Nene. Nene is my, one of my, I love her. I've not always watched Real Housewives of Atlanta, but I've always liked Nene. I just don't feel like Nene has the, she has never really brought anything to housewives like that since the time when she was poor. Although she didn't have that much money as all the rest of the folks. She has changed since then. She does not have that, you know, she, because even when she was going to do these, these things, up, um, these jobs and stuff, that shit was boring to me. It was not entertaining. I think the episode was really, really boring, period, because we, had Kenya telling her story. And Kenya, I love you to death. But you have been such a, a bitch the last couple of seasons that I really can't see. I can't really feel too much sorry for you. It's going to take a little bit more for you to become human to me because you're just evil as fuck. I don't trust you. I just, just don't trust you. Your credit with me is bad as far as the human factor. And I just don't rock with you like that. And, you know, I, I, I'm glad that you're trying to reach out to your mommy. you try trying to knock on the door and she ain't trying to open the door for your ass. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. But you know what? I can't feel sorry for you. I just did not feel sorry. I thought the shit was funny. You know, child Kenya, when you tried to talk to your damn mama and she locked that damn door on your ass, baby, that shit had me hollering. It's fucked up, but that shit was funny as hell. Baby, Kenya walked up and said, hi, it's, it's Kenya. Baby, mama locked the damn door on her ass, baby. But, Kenya, if you really wanted to be genuine and you really wanted to really do some stuff, you should have went without the cameras. I bet you word got around that you were filming and your mom didn't want no parts of it. So, you probably need to take the cameras away and show up to your mom's house and talk to her. I just don't feel like it was genuine. And I don't even know what to say about you. I wish you the best. Um, I love that you gave us a throwback. Um, they went back on you were talking. Auntie Cisco, like, she ain't featuring that bullshit. And I want to know, Auntie Cisco just like, uh-uh. It's some more shit to that. That it's just not being said. And I feel like we're going to get to it probably next episode. But Nene going to be like back for episode 11. She said she back. But I don't know what the fuck she going to be doing. I just want to see her get into a what's, um, what's her name? Sheree ass. To be honest, that's all I'm interested in is to see her, you know, bump guns with Sheree. We're going to see how that shit go. But tell me what you thought about this episode. Follow me on Twitter, Justin J1232. Um, and, you know, check out the website, jumpj1232.com each and every day. Make sure you share the video, all that type of shit. I ain't trying to be. <laughs> I'm, I'm not too proud to be, I guess. Love y'all so much, and I'll talk to y'all later.